This is the 2017 Math Kangaroo Levels 7 and 8, problem number 29. Sarah wrote a natural number in each of the five boxes in the bottom row of the diagram. Then she wrote in each of the other boxes the sum of the two numbers in the boxes immediately underneath. What is the maximum number of odd numbers that could appear in the completed diagram? A, 5, B, 7, C, 8, D, 10, or E, 11. To start this problem, I want to establish that even though an even number can be equal to the sum of two even numbers and the sum of two odd numbers, I will be using the fact that they could be equal to two odd numbers to get the maximum number of odd numbers. In addition, an odd is equal to an even plus an odd. To start, I'm going to start with an odd number in the top to get the maximum number of odd numbers. So this odd is equal to an even plus an odd. And this even number is equal to the sum of two odds. And this odd number is equal to the sum of an odd and an even. This even is equal again to the sum of two odds, while the odd is equal to the sum of an even and an odd. This even is equal to the sum of two odds, while the odds are equal to the sum of an odd and an even. Therefore, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten odd numbers. So the answer is D. Ten. To prove that this is the maximum amount, I have put together an example. I chose 57, but any odd number would work. So this odd number 57 is equal to the sum of 30 and 27. 30 being the even number, which could be broken down to the sum of two odds, and 27 being the odd number, which can be broken down to the sum of an even plus an odd. 15 is equal to 7 plus 8, one odd and one even. And 12 is equal to the sum of two odds. Eight is equal to the sum of two odds, as eight is even. Five is equal to two odds. Seven is equal to the sum of two odds. Sorry, seven is equal to the sum of one odd and one even. So in total, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten even numbers, which again is answer choice D.